Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an evaluation survey for the software product using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. Consider that I am a software developer and I want to take a quick survey of the existing users of my software to see if they are satisfied with the new update. Also, I need to ask the users for any improvements if anything could be added to my software. So, let's create an online survey for this scenario. In this video, I have created a website using NCWP. This is the finest platform to create a disposable WordPress website and test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can launch a quick disposable WordPress website with just a click of a button. So let's start the process. Here, I have already installed the QSM plugin on the website. To learn how to install the QSM plugin on your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating a survey. Hover over QSM and click on Quizzes or Surveys. Click on Add New button. We will see a variety of themes to select for our survey. QSM has a collection of stunning themes, but for now, let's keep everything simple. That's why I'm selecting the default theme and clicking on Next. Now, on the Quiz Setting page, we get an option to do a quick setup of our survey. You can set a name for your survey, select what kind of form you are using, and you could set a timer for the survey. In my case, I'll set up a name for the survey and select what kind of form I'm going to use. Now comes the add-on section, where we get to see popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, or surveys. Currently, I don't need any add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. We have created the Questions tab where we can enter our questions for our evaluation survey. Now, as a software developer, I'd have a few important questions I'd like to hear from the users so that I could improvise the future software releases. Let's start with the first one to check if the users are happy with the security of my software. After entering the question, you can choose a type of question on the right-hand side. I am taking the multiple choice type question here. You could choose any other question types from the list of questions types available as per your question requirements, like your question requires an answer in choices, numbers, text, form, or any other type. I've entered my question in the question box, and now I'll be adding some options here for the users to select. I am making the question as required so that the user must answer this question and then move to the next one. You can decide if your question is important to answer or not. Now, then click on Save Question. Our first question is saved. Let's click on Create a New Question at the bottom of the Questions tab to create a new question. As an alternative, you could even use the Duplicate Question button next to the Edit button to duplicate the question and edit the next question as per your plan. On the second question, I want to check if the users are satisfied with the integration feature of my software. I want this to be a multiple choice type question. Once you've filled in the question, click on Save Question. Let's move on to the next question by clicking on Create New Question. Now, I want to check if the user is happy with the interface of the software. I want to get an answer as a multiple choice type again. Then, click on the Save Question once done. Now in the next question, I want to check if the user finds this software valuable for their money. This information could help me decide on a good price range for my products and services. For this kind of question, you could even select the question type as Polar, where a slider will appear to the user so that the user could select the answer by dragging the slider button to their desired answer. For now, I am repeating the same process as we did for the last question. So. Let's create the last question. On the last question, I want to ask my users if there is improvisation required in the current version. I am taking paragraph type questions here so that users can write me a detailed review about software improvements. All the questions are saved and we are done with the basic survey page. But before we publish this survey, I need to set up a contact form to get the user details so that I could contact them directly if there is some urgent attention required for the product. To create a new contact field, click on Add New Field. Select the field type as a small open answer and label it as Name. 
Select the Use For section and select Name there. I'm going to add another contact field to collect the email addresses who takes the survey. Select the field type as Email and label it as Email Address. Select the Use For section and select Email there. Then, click on the Save Contact field. Now, our question for the survey is all good to go, and the contact field is configured to collect the user details. Let's preview our survey by clicking on the Preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you see, we have successfully created a software evaluation survey, and it works just right. That's all for this video. Let us know in the comments how can QSM plugin be used as. Stay tuned for new tips on using QSM plugin. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.